Hello, everybody. Welcome to a brand new episode of Radio City Freedom Exchange with me, Vijay Lakshmi. And joining me in this afternoon is Asim Trivedi, singer-songwriter, music composer, and director, winner of MTV Nescafe Labs, and currently he just produced and directed music for JL50, the web series which is now st- streaming on Sony Live. Uh, so thank you for joining us, Asim. Um, I want to thank first so start by asking, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Uh, these are tough times for everyone. Uh, I hope you're doing good too. Oh, very well. Thank you so much. Um, firstly, congratulations for JL50. Everybody's raving about your work. Um, I want to ask, how did you land this project so in much. the first place? Um, I mean, just like uh, anyone um, coming from outside the industry, right? I, I made, I composed my own music. I wrote songs, and as much as possible, I was just, give, I just kept on uh, giving people my work, and I just kept on showing people my work. And one thing led to another. I mean, after a lot of, a lot of rejections too. I mean, it's not that I gave a song and everyone just loved it. I mean, after a lot of rejections, right. and uh, I'm thankful, thankful to the director. I mean, the. Uh, through through a lot of change, the director got to hear one of my songs, and he absolutely loved it. And he thought that it could uh, go with the flow. And that's when he met me and he explained me the project and uh, and what sort what else sort of compositions that I could actually give him. And that's when this happened. And uh, and I mean I mean uh, of course uh, things happen things happen when nobody nobody expects it. But at the same time, uh, you just got to put your hard work in and you just got to make songs and do your bit when uh, everything else has to do do its own so firstly you sung gharonda for the web series and also jungle yeah. ki raat which was which you have uh, directed also i believe i've no, i've not sung it. it's uh, pugi's song pugi uh, it's composed and sung by pugi but you have directed it. you have I given did. the you've done the, the yeah i yeah the director yeah the music i mean yeah so talk uh, tell me about the experience about working with you know somebody as uh, experienced and as big a veteran as mr mistra you know uh, he's written the song and he's actually quite a huge name in the you know in the music industry also absolutely absolutely i mean he's he's i mean you, uh, it wouldn't be wrong to call him a legend he's absolutely a legend and i mean the sort of songs that he makes the sort of the sort of things that he writes i mean it's uh, it's absolutely i mean i'm i'm so fortunate to be able to work with him in my first major project uh i mean experience working with him was actually a nothing short of a dream because whatever whatever in terms of whatever i had thought him to be of course i was nervous i mean because him being such a huge person it's like it's like a newcomer meeting amitabh bachchan or shahrukh khan right so i'm like uh, so and me i mean me as a budding budding writer and a uh, composer and all sort of things i mean meeting him was i was just stunned and uh, but he was honestly he was just a gem of a person uh, in terms of to talk with to work with and i mean whatever things i had in mind i could freely talk to him about it and uh, i mean he's uh, he's written and composed a gem of course so i mean i'm i'm uh, uh, i mean i'm not at all uh, i'm not not at all i did not expect things to go so smoothly because i myself thought that i'll be really nervous in in terms of nervous in terms of talking to him and speaking working with him but that wasn't the case i was it was really a really smooth experience and um, on in terms of uh, how you ask in terms of other artists also i mean siddharth basrood is one um, is the singer of now and yes. he is he is my i mean uh, i i uh, i sh- I'm, I'm just going to share a story with you i shared this with siddharth as well Definitely. so when i was while i was re- while i was recording uh, Uh, while I was recording him in the studio, um, I, uh, I, I mean, I just before just before going in, I told Sadat, uh, Sadat, you know what? Um, I heard the, I heard your first song when I was in eleventh grade. I was in eleventh class. That's when I heard uh, through an MP MP three. And uh, I mean, since then, I'm just absolutely, I'm absolutely a fan of his voice. And then later on, of course, he came on Coke Studio. He did numerous songs. He's done numerous songs since then. and i have been such a fan of him and i actually told him this you know okay this happening right now it's sort of surreal in its own way and uh, i mean yeah. i was i used to listen to your songs back home in kanpur and now i'm in mumbai just recording a song with you so all of this all of it felt surreal when i mean all the people in terms of how they are as i mean as great as legends that they are but they are such nice humans that i got to work with in in terms of all the artists that that was singing and that i was working with keshav dhar the music producer the an arranger yeah. and also the director shailendra vyas i mean all of them were all of them are such good humans to work with uh, i mean i've right. i've been uh, i've been really lucky in that aspect so while uh, growing up and you know while uh, you know uh, uh, 
of course i mean work of kan when we speak of kanpur you know the uh, accessibility the you know the mainstream visibility of you know being in a coming from a place like that it's of course you know there's so sure. much uh, yeah. restrictions there are limitations so how did uh, how did the liking happen or you know how did the inclination happen towards music how did you realize that this is what you want to do in life <laughs> um okay so i mean so my uh, school i mean i'm i'm actually going to say my school uh, my school really supported me when earlier on i realized that i could actually sing i could like there's voice coming out of my mouth and i i, I could actually sing on pitch and all of those things happened i was i might be what 7 8 years old uh that's when i sort of realized okay so i should go for competitions i should start doing things but um, i mean you put a really good point in terms of musical accessibility and what sort of genres yeah. that you're open to right uh yeah. that was uh, that was hard i mean uh, uh before going to mumbai i was just open to this uh, open open to perhaps i mean of course a, a few hindustani classical rags perhaps a few of them and also the film film music in general film music and music i mean perhaps an independent music a film really really famous independent music apart from that i had no like no inclination towards any genres it was when i went to mumbai i sort of started listening to genres there was music all over the place it was like it was absolutely overwhelming at first i mean i started listening to artists i mean i hadn't i was surprised that i hadn't heard of john mayer i mean now he is one of my favorite artists but i i was surprised that i haven't heard of john mayer and artists like any any pop star that you can name off i hadn't heard most of them i mean of course a, right. apart from the major ones but so that's when i actually realized that there are so many genres there's jazz there's reggae there's uh, there's r&b there's pop there's hip hop so that's when i actually sort of realized okay so these are the genres and now if i work on right. my music theory and now that I, if i work on my music theory and that i can realize that you know that i can also compose and work along with these tracks that's actually when the step up came that's when i realized i can actually compose and i, I can actually work on these songs with with people so how did the uh, songwriting become a part of your process uh so i would always i mean in terms of in terms of uh, making comp- any composition right I- even if it's see songwriting if it's lyrical or if it's not really can any composition piece any music piece i would always always uh, try to write my own lyrics along with it like since the beginning like since since i started writing so i would always write my own lyrics along with it and of course i mean at, at the, you know, like during uh, when you start off with things there Like the lyrics are not as good i mean as in, as in when you keep on writing you keep on like finishing your art you start reading more and more poetry you start reading more and more uh, uh, writings of people right that's when you actually gain uh, knowledge so that's the same that happened right. with me i mean i i started i started writing i i and like i said after moving to mumbai i also started learning music theory in terms of western western music notations i had no idea western like chord charts i i started learning that as well so that was around when i actually went for college and uh, i think learning learning music in terms of what it is and how you need to go about it i mean uh, mm. of course raw music sounds really raw music sounds the idea sounds really amazing and lovely but at the end of the day you really need to yeah. know what you're actually playing what you're actually making and if there's if there's a visual treatment to any scene what sort of chords would actually go and what sort of chord progression you would actually use so uh, i would yeah. really say keep, i'm i'm still in a learning curve i have i have the world to learn right now but i think that's the exciting part about this uh, I, i mean about music as well i seem actually within this uh, period this period of lockdown yeah. we have witnessed you know a surge of indie releases actually see of course the popular uh, you know perception is because a you know the income or you know the sources of uh, keeping uh, musicians afloat is you know it's kind of scarce now because live shows are cancelled gigs Absolutely. are not happening Absolutely. yeah so um of course that is the reason surge of indie releases but uh, do yeah. you think actually well i mean this period has given a lot of uh, scope for artists to put out their best work the most creative i i actually sort of agree with you i mean uh, uh, the other day i was also part of uh, i mean i was also part of a podcast with uh, different indie artists as well so i mean i discussed the same thing with them as well uh, so people uh, this the time I, i mean even for me the time that i have right now the time that we have right now it's perhaps it's never going to come again right it's absolutely extraordinary right. circumstances so the music that we are coming up with uh, it's first of all it's refined it's i mean i'm i'm sure nobody is actually just going to oh my god we have time people are listening so just keep on belting tracks no one is doing that people have time people are taking time with their own music people are spending time with the music people are listening to more music 
as and when they would listen to perhaps pehle jitna sunte the i mean of course of course of course this time has i mean for me and for all the artists i mean that i have been interacting with this has been a boon in terms of uh, in terms of musical compositions and musical creativity but of course like you mentioned it's it's a hard time it's a tough time in, uh, financially and economically for for people as live shows are not there so i would absolutely agree with right. that statement yours yeah but uh, do you feel that it's also boon because you know uh, mainstream is not pelting out their cliched uh, recreations so absolutely. this is the playground for you guys absolutely absolutely like i said so since it's been since it's it's a time of uh, like i said since since it's a time of people are reflecting onto their own music and there are a couple of artists that i know that are also like they are also digressing from the usually do they're they making music they are also finishing their own art so I, this is absolutely a boon uh, there's no question about it that even even in uh, with my own music that i'd like to talk about even with my own music i I was stuck. I mean, just before JL50, I was uh, doing my own EP. I, I wanted to release a uh, six of uh, a set of set of five tracks. So I'm working on that right now, uh, along with, of course, a commercial project. But uh, I I'm sure that the more time that I spend with my own music, more at my own EP and my own album, I know I'm going to make more and more creative changes to it. So that's that's actually a really good thing that's happening. Uh, speaking of your EP, because you mentioned it, um, yeah, Alpha is, I believe. Uh, yeah, that's right. Of which you released, Ru- of which you released Ru- your first single, Ru, last year, which has been so yeah. well received. Uh, and it also has a music video featuring Shilpa Tulaskar ji. Absolutely. So, how did how did that happen? Like, how did this whole uh, <laughs> process fall fall in place? It's it's unbelievable. At this, I mean, uh, honestly, um, so there was. I mean, uh, no one. I have to say this on on record. No one. Uh, I mean, from the actors or the director, no one charged me up like for a penny for whatever they did. I mean, it was. Oh, I mean, wow. it, it was. Yeah, they did not. So I have to say this on record. So uh, uh, I mean, whatever the shooting, of course, the, all, all of that was there, but they did not. I mean, their own charges. There was nothing in terms of the director. The I mean, the European director was the same guy in the art guy, Shilpa Ma'am, and uh, whoever worked on the project. So. Uh, what happened was they connected to the song and that was the happiest thing for me for an artist so uh, the director okay. i mean uh, the director just kumar kohli who made the made the video he sort of got in touch with shilpa ma'am he showed her the video he i mean he showed her the concept what he had in mind and he also made her hear the track and she was just like that she was in and she loved the yeah. track she also yeah she talked to me and uh, yeah exactly people i mean it's it basically that was a hus- that was my hustling period that i had to just i was just throwing my hands and legs wherever i could find but i mean there are amazing people in the industry there are people who would like to help you there are people that connect with your music and i think that's what happened with me as well i see when we talk about uh, songwriting when we talk about the kind yeah. of music that's being uh, you know released yeah. this period uh, yeah as musicians i know i as when we observe uh, recurring themes like you know like i think the popular perception now there is you know most of these songs are repeatedly having or covering two or three relevant themes either it's about heartbreak or it's about lockdown anxiety or it's about uh, unity and diversity so as a songwriter and as a musician yourself if you are putting out work what are the relevant topics that you hope to you know start a conversation with that is like i'm been speaking to a lot of artists some of them yeah. are actually saying that you know what artists and especially musicians can be great uh, you know propagators of you know uh, a dialogue around mental health so Definitely. as a music yourself what what yeah. are the topics that you would like to touch upon through your work of course i mean i uh, so this like you said uh, people have been putting out stuff uh, in terms of uh, what what has been going around right so i mean that's for a sing- for a singer songwriter for any uh, composer and in- independent artist i think it's necessary that they make music that actually affects them and plus first of all okay. and writing music writing music that they are actually going through and that's why hence like you said they're making music about heart heartbreak and sort of anxiety and sort of i mean the the men, the mental health issue with all of this like all of this coming through all the lockdown and the pandemic sp- spreading throughout the world i mean it's like people don't recognize it but it's actually, but it's actually more than ever so i mean it's absolutely that that's that's something that's something that even the tracks i mean you're going to listen listen to a couple of tracks which i'm 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 the, the tracks that are, that i'll be coming out which are actually not sort of in this way i'm i'm uh there are there is there is a track that actually talks about empowerment in ta- empowerment in terms of empowerment with in the hands of the people so that i'm also making tracks in uh, in those lines along those lines as well and 
I mean, I, I, I completely agree with you. I have nothing to add on to it because, because at the same time, like you said, people will make, yeah, people will make tracks uh, and relate to it through which they are going through. I mean, that's absolutely true. As a musician, musician yourself, you know, when you look up to your contemporaries, so who are the singer-songwriters from the indie space that you look at and you say, wow, that's stuff that's really great. That, I mean, they're doing some really great stuff out there. Honestly, uh, honestly, in terms of, I mean, you look at artists like Mali, Mali, she is, she's absolutely amazing. There's Kamakshi, amazing. Kamakshi is doing, she, Kamakshi is amazing. I mean, I've, uh, I'm, I, of course, I've met Kamakshi a couple of times and she, I mean, she has a beautiful voice and beautiful songwriting, absolutely. And uh, even, I mean, for that matter, we have gone to the independent subject, Keshav, I mean, for all these artists, I mean, if you, Keshav, Keshav Dhar, he's been, he's been doing, he's been pr- producing music and he's been mixing music and he is, so involved with the process of independent artists and what independent music stands for. I mean, it's it was actually an absolute honor to work with him on, I mean, my tracks as well for JL50. So uh, these artists actually, these artists actually inspire you. They give you hope that there is, and uh, I would also like to say, I mean, uh, uh, film, film legends, like music legends, like Amit Trivedi and Salim Suleiman are also coming out with their independent wow, labels, yeah. right? Yeah. Right? So, uh, I mean, Merchant, Merchant Records and uh, Amit Trivedi is putting out a whole lot of music. I'm I'm so inspired. I mean, for an artist like me, who is actually who's trying to make a name for himself, for an artist like me, I'm so inspired that legends like these are also coming out with their independent albums in the music which they actually believe in, with absolute rock star collaborations. So I mean, that actually gives me a lot of hope for the music that's about to come. Uh, lastly, uh, Asim, as we end this uh, interview, yeah. I want to just ask you that: um, How do you keep yeah. yourself connected to your art? I mentioned I mentioned a little bit before. Uh, I mean, the starting of the interview. I really, I really, I've been really, uh, I've, I've really been into reading a lot of poetry, a lot of writing, and uh, I, I really, I really like to be involved with the process that I'm actually doing. So, in terms of, in terms of, mu- in terms of music making, right? Uh, I have been asked, uh, I've been asked a couple of times that also oh, you're, a, you also compose, you also sing at the same time, you're also writing music. So how does that come along? I genuinely, I genuinely like to be involved in the whole process. I don't, I don't want to be a, I don't want to be a single, perhaps a sing, uh, a, a single, a chair into a, a whole room, right? I don't want to be a chair in a room. I want, I want to be a part of that whole song. So, uh, in case, in case of you and like in terms of unwinding or staying connected with the art, I, uh, I don't want to be disconnected from the art from the first place. So if I'm not making music, I go and re- I go and read my music. I read a lot of stuff. I read, read a lot of stuff online. I watch stuff. I read articles. I mean, and like I said, I, I, it's been what, it's been six years that I've been, uh, that I've been six, seven years that I've been open to more genres of music. And it's such a huge learning curve for me. I would also like to talk about, I'm also part of this uh, uh, acapella group that's called Instrument. Uh, the, the whole wow. reason, yeah. Yeah, I'm also part of that acapella group that's instrument. So the whole reason of being a part of that uh, group was that I right. I got, I'm, I'm learning uh, vocal arrangement and harmonies in a way that I would never have done if I were, I, perhaps even if I were, I was in Kanpur, I would, wouldn't have even heard of it. But coming in Mumbai and the, sing, <laughs> the singers, the singers, I mean, uh, well, most of them are stage sing, uh, singers from the stage, the show. I mean, so talk, talking to them, learning from them every day, it's everything's a learning everything's a learning curve for me and i'm just every day of my life i'm just so excited oh my god i'm going to learn western uh, harmonies i'm going to learn hindustani classical rag perhaps a new rag or something or the other and i'm going to i'm going to learn new concepts of jazz so that's that's all that's been happening to me throughout this uh, lockdown as well as before well more power to you and wishing you uh, all the very best and thank you for the good music and um, thank you, thank looking you so forward much. to your uh, looking forward to your ep alphas very soon sure Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Thank you.